What's up, boys and girls? It's your one and only light skinned pecan man, Tuskegee 87, aka Joe Daddy. And oh my heavens, I'm back in here with y'all one more time. And oh my goodness, it's such a gorgeous day out here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty. I can't believe it. It's been a minute since I've uh, done a video on the bike. So I'm back. Yeah. I ain't got absolutely nothing to talk about. I, uh, I had uh, something I wanted to, uh, or I had some stuff written down that I was going to talk about, but uh, I didn't bring it with me. So uh, we're going to do this thing impromptu today. Yeah. God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, a couple of weeks ago, well, a couple of months ago, uh, you know, uh, the news had reported about all of this gun violence and how, uh, you know, all of these kids are going around shooting everybody because I guess no one loved them or I don't know what the case may be, but they had some type of issue. And so, of course, because, uh, you know, the tool that was being used in all of these uh, murders, the conversation about gun control has sparked back up once more and again and everybody seems to be losing their minds talking about oh my goodness we need to go ahead and uh ban assault rifles and all of this ar style rifles and all that jazz so i wanted to throw my two cents out there because who doesn't want to throw their two cents out on something that uh you know they can't do fix or do anything about but it's just for educational and entertainment purposes. So this gun violence, gun control thing. You know, we've been we've been beating this thing upside the head for at least uh, five years or so. I know it's been way longer than that, but I'm just gonna say at least five years. But you know, everybody's always attacking the weapon, and it seems that uh, anyone who wants to commit any type of heinous act using a weapon generally prefers the AR-15 style platform which resembles the military M4 and because of this you know popularity and uh, mass shootings and everything we have all of these anti-gun activists if you will who want to get rid of this style of platform because it's an assault rifle or so they say but i want to just throw this out there many of you may know this some of you may not but ar and ar-15 does not stand for assault rifle it's actually an acronym for the company name who makes the style platform arms light or uh armor light ah, i forgot the name anyway it doesn't stand for assault rifle go look it up you should get out Anyway, an assault rifle, by definition, and this is just, uh, you know, in my words, but assault rifle by definition pretty much is any fully automated weapon. A battle rifle is any type of uh, three round burst style weapon. Most in fours or all in fours uh, have the capability of full auto. Now, hence I use the naming convention of M4 because that is the military style rifle. When you look at the AR-15, it is the civilian version of it that is only capable of firing semi-automatic. Now, can you get triggers and bump stocks and things of that nature to increase the fire rate? Of course you can, you can do anything you want to. All things are, you know, lawful, but not all things are expedient. Well, maybe that's not lawful, unless you have the right permit. Then I guess it makes it lawful, so. Anyway. So that's that. People are trying to, uh, you know, get back on the ban of banning ARs and all of this. And they really want to get rid of guns altogether, but they won't say it outright because that's unconstitutional and no one wants to be unconstitutional, right? So, yeah, that's that. So they're trying to ban, you know, weapons. 
and the sense of well if we ban these weapons these high powered assault rifles which y'all should look up the definition of high powered uh, but anyway, they want to ban these things. Oh, by the way, the uh, round that uh, M4 uses, or excuse me, that the uh, AR platforms use is a uh, 223 or 556. That, plat that uh, round was originally created and was selected by the military not to necessarily kill, but to injure combatants on the field so that the, uh, you know, combat ready adversaries would have to dry their wounded off of the battlefield and in the meantime while they're dragging their wounded off the battlefield the opposing force could continue laying down effective fire so pretty much the 223-556 round the NATO 556 wasn't meant to uh, actually kill it was meant to injure so that you know uh, the rest of the opposing force that you're fighting would have to care for the wounded that's on the ground and that was the whole general purpose behind it so when you talk about high powered assault rifle, I don't consider a 223556 to be high powered in a relative term. You have some more powerful pistol cartridges. But I mean yeah, to say that an AR round is high powered, I mean I would say it's moderately powered, but it's such a small round compared to a 308 or compared to a uh uh, which is also equivalent to a 7.62 um, you know 30 odd uh, 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 you know what I mean anyway all those other large hunting rounds that are meant to take down bears and you know large game and all of that stuff now those I would consider high powered rounds now a 2, 2, 3, 5, 6 again you wouldn't really consider that high power round again there's some pistol cartridges that pack just as much punch or if not more so anyway, the uh, other argument with them banning it is that, well, if we take these uh, high-powered assault rifles off the, you know, market, then that's less damage that can be done to the populace and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. So, by that logic, we should take all vehicles off of the road as well. Because more people die by accidents and vehicles than they do by gun wounds or gunshots gun violence or airplane crashes all of this jazz so by their logic that because it causes mass amounts of injury and everything we should just take it off the market so with that we should take cars off the market just as well and everybody get up in their uh, horse and buggy and you know we scoot along to where we want to go to right no they're not going to do that because there is you know, I won't say there's an agenda behind it, but you know, you know. Anyway, pressing on. Again, I'm just kind of uh, talking. I don't really have a, you know, a layout or anything with me today. But that was just one of the things that was on my mind is that, you know, we're attacking the tool and not the person using the tool. And that's really what I want to get down to. Uh, when you look at all of these mass attacks, they always go back to the well we need to have more strict gun laws if you have more strict gun laws and then guess what happens that affects the law abiding citizen you know who doesn't care about the stricter laws the person committing a the crime they don't care about the laws hence why they committed the crime in the first place so by enacting more strict laws you are really hurting the law abiding citizen who now cannot defend themselves at the level that they're being attacked with, also known as uh, use of force or uh, proper or equal use of force. Those are just pretty much my stance though. Stop trying to get rid of the guns and, you know, address the symptom or stop addressing the symptom and address the problem. The symptom is, oh my goodness, the symptom is or the uh, the actual problem is the people using the weapons and not the weapons itself so quit trying to ban the tools and be more productive proactive and apprehending those who have m mental illnesses and that will solve a lot of your problems right there